This is our first ever train here in Italy. And this pathway with all of our luggage took us about five or six minutes to walk down, which is fine, but they don't tell you what train you're gonna be on until 30 minutes ahead of time. Luckily, we left our house, our Airbnb, about two hours early. Oh, that's one of the private Italian trains, Italia. It's in garnet and gold color, so that looks pretty good. It's a cinema on it, so I don't know if it has a big screen movie. That'd be good, but that's not what we're taking today. But yeah, it took us five or six minutes from the station where you can, you know, see the board and see what terminal you're going to be on until we actually got to the train itself. It looks like the train is already here, so we can find our seats, board, hopefully find a nice place for our luggage. And we're here in uh, the main room train station. This is not one train station where you wanna show up 10 minutes before. I mean, if you have some kind of immobility issue, I don't think you're gonna make this train in time if you're going to the center of Italy like us and you have to go way over to one east. Plus it's starting to rain and there's really not a big balcony. So thank God the rain held off and it looks like we're gonna make our train in enough time to get there without getting rained on, but. Don't wait till last minute. And yeah, we got our tickets ahead of time online, maybe like six weeks ago when we knew for sure we we're gonna be here. So we didn't have to scramble with that either, but we're here, let's get on now. We're looking for wagon number one, which I think is in the front. There's like little paper signs to see where you are. That's eight, that's seven. All right, let's look for one. Make sure to watch out for this guy because he's emptying water. You don't want to get this dirty water from the train on you. All right, we're on Trenzitalia. And we're almost to the very front. And there's vending machines on board and they're full with yummy treats. Air conditioning, that's what I like to see. Hopefully it's nice and cold. We made it to one. Do we get on on this side or the other side? Yeah, because our seats are two and three, so. All right, let's get in. I'll get the bags. All right. So, hopefully that's not my pants. <laughs> Someone's behind you. <laughs> Sorry, I ripped my pants. So no big luggage rack. Can we just lay them down like this? Probably. And then lay the other one on top of it? So where are, where are our seats? Oh. This is really not how you should book couples. You should be able to sit together. But yeah, we'll lay them back there, I guess. I mean, would it kill these train makers to give you luggage? I mean, if you're going a couple hours on the train, you're seriously not going to have any kind of luggage with you? I mean, you're going to have these. Yeah, but not everyone wants to travel with just a duffel bag. We don't even have that much. We have two suitcases. Because I remember in Poland, we always had a luggage rack, right? Every single time there was room for our luggage. So, that's all right. Hopefully this uh, air conditioning that we've been promised based on the outside of the train comes to fruition. This is another solution too. You think this is better? Yeah, it'd be less in the way because it's like right at the entrance. So, yeah, because this could also slide. Let me do it. <laughs> Just be careful. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. That's what she said. It's a family show. Oh, okay, sorry. You take part in it. Mm hmm no bananas this episode. Yeah, this one's at least smaller, so we can keep them like Okay. At least on the side, it shouldn't slide too much if they don't come to a full stop. Our luggage is as secure as it's gonna be. Hopefully no one else needs this. We have a trash receptacle here, which uh, comes with some free trash. I mean, it's been stopped here. I don't know why they didn't empty this out. And then we got a tray table here. And then a view. And also plugs here if you need it. The train's supposed to leave two minutes ago. Really? It's already It's 10.22. It's 10.24 already. How's that air conditioning? 
This actually feels really good. <laughs> you have air conditioning if you bring your own fan. Yeah. Fan, fan, fan. Yeah, not even a fan. Fan would be helpful at least. <laughs> We are on a Trenitalia intercity train. Uh, we got these tickets online because we heard if you buy them online and way in advance, they should be more affordable than getting them last minute. Next time we take a train, we will check the day of to see what the prices are in comparison because these tickets for us were 15 euros um, for a two hour train ride. And this is a first class seat. sensation the ear pressure so that was nice so only about 30 minutes of uh, a little bit unpleasant experience then from there was pretty good i don't know if it's because we slowed down or we just our body got used to it but that was really nice now we're about an hour in on our way to umbria the air conditioning is finally starting to, to kick in it's feeling a little bit cooler it was never like hot or sweating or anything unbearable or anything like that we're in orvieto and uh, we see some of these other like trains and how fast they're going it's like really quite impressive we should be arriving in Umbria in about 30 minutes. We're gonna enjoy it. Oh, here's one. That was the Italia, the one that we saw when we left uh, the Rome station. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for more of these super fast trains as we go. Also at the station is the first time someone came around to check our tickets. So you're mostly on the honor system once you get on. And I only had to show my ticket didn't worry about Kati ticket, just showing them some kind of proof that we belong on the train and we were good to go, so that was pretty nice. We left almost five minutes late, but got here five or six minutes early, so the fact that this train is super fast helped us make up time. Something that was unique about this train is we had to actually open the latch to get out of the train. I've never had to do that, so that was a little weird. But maybe other trains do that too, but I guess we've never been the first ones off the train and realized that we had to open the latch ourselves. But thank you, Intercity Train. Great first experience. Oh, <laughs> Good to see you. So we're walking around this like, quaint little town called P Pisano? Pisano. Pisano. And it's uh, siesta time, so things are actually closed. Close. Everything's really quiet, and we just came from the big city in Rome. Remember. And so we're like, oh, this is the first time we're actually experiencing siesta time and seeing that things are closed. So. It's very quiet, it's very cute, love all the architecture, very Italian here. This is exactly what we were hoping to see in the countryside. Maybe. Even the cat's taking a siesta. So this is the old Buitoni house, like their family property. And the Buitoni family, you may know from the grocery store, most of the world, they have pasta. Brand is Buitoni, perhaps pronounced differently. How do you pronounce it? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> This is where they're from, so this is their family property. Yeah. And then, yeah. Oh, they're 
They're so cute. They're only five year olds. This is what happens when you get out of the city. This is beautiful. I love it. So simple, but I love it. You make? Can I buy two? Uh, uh, kitchen? Ah. Kitchen? Si, si, cinque l'uno. Okay, cinque. Si. Do it. Si? Okay. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Grazie. In this castle behind me, behind this gate actually, that is where they screen brand new movies. So you can go see a brand new feature film in one of the most unique settings possible. The region of Umbria is often called Italy's green heart. The lakes and trees were the purest version of the real Italy. Debbie and Stain showed us around the medieval hill towns that were peaceful and quiet, the complete opposite of our experience in Rome. But our favorite memory was making pizzas from scratch in their outdoor oven. It was the best pizza we had in the country, if we do say so ourselves. It's in there. Let's see how this goes. It's smoking. Right, I gotta help Stain. What's he doing? Just wanna like rotate it. I don't want just one side to be cooked here. You wanna take it out and rotate it on the metal thing and then put it back in. We can do that too. I'm gonna help you with that. Is it good? Is it good? And the dough is cooked. It looks great. I think you did it. Yeah, I don't know if the cucumbers are cooked or anything like that, but cheese is melted. Uh, dough is a little bit crispy. I mean, we can, the other side could be a little bit crispier, but I don't want to yeah, change it. Yeah, that's good. Under the Tuscan sun, but except oh, for under Umbria. Under the Umbrian sun. Under the Umbrian sun. Stan, we got to cover the thing. Oh, you're holding the thing over for me? great time with you guys here in Umbria. We're so glad to finally meet you in yeah. person. We just love you to death. We had a blast. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did too. You guys are awesome. Thank you for hosting us and showing us around. We're gonna miss yeah. you so much. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. This is Witty Travels. What, what could, could possibly, possibly be next? next?